this needs to be addressed and I guess I'm here to address it, but let's clear something up first. I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. I'm just here to share. And I think that's all any of us should be here for. With that said, for the love of pens, please stop doing this. If you're a part of our little SPF fam, AKA our sweet pen friend community here on my channel, then you may be familiar with the fact that I used to have this terrible, like truly atrocious habit of death gripping my pens. You might be wondering to yourself, what in the world am I talking about? And if that's the case, then I'd say that's a good sign because it means you've never gripped your pens the way that I did. Essentially, I would nest the grip of the pen here on my ring finger and I have formed a bit of a permanent callus because of it. Then I would wrap my middle finger and index finger around the top like this, entrapping the pen and myself in this ridiculous self-torture chamber. And this is how I held my pen for most of my life. I just didn't know any better. No one ever corrected me in school or in any other setting. So I just went on with my life, gripping my pen with this lobster claw-like massacre, straining every muscle and ligament in my arm and hand anytime that I wanted to write, which was quite often. It wasn't until I found the curative fantastical fountain pen and its wonderful community of the most kind-hearted folk that I realized all of this pain and strain that I was inflicting upon myself through this super constricting pen grip was 100% avoidable and entirely unnecessary. Specifically, I came upon the Lamy Lux and Safari fountain pens, and while I know that their triangular pen grip is incredibly polarizing within the fountain pen community, I have to say that I'm really grateful for it. Because of it, I was able to relearn how to hold my pen properly and write comfortably for the first time in my life. Working with that forced grip and keeping in mind that the nib had to face up in order for me to be able to write with it was incredibly frustrating at first. It wasn't pretty, but over time, it was something that I grew accustomed to. I really want to be able to sympathize with those of you who were like me and just didn't know any better. I wrote with that horrific pen grip up until two, three years ago. And I think that's just insane. When I see others suffering from this same mistake, it makes me so sad. And I have to admit, it really grinds my gears because I think it's just not talked about enough. I think we just assume that people will know how to hold their pens and if you don't, then <laughs> you're out of luck. Writing, in my opinion, should feel wonderful. It should feel freeing and cathartic. And how can you enter that beautiful state of flow when you're clutching onto your writing instrument for dear life? So if you are one of the unfortunate few like myself who have acquired this awful habit of a death pen grip and you want to relieve yourself of the unnecessary suffering, some things I would encourage you to do include exploring other grip options. It's all gonna feel freaking weird and uncomfortable at first. You might think to yourself that it's just easier to keep chugging along as you have, but trust me, for the health of your arm, hand, and your mind, it's a necessary and temporary discomfort that will yield dividends and relief. In the book, The Lost Art of Handwriting, Brenna Jordan covers a variety of pen grasps that you might find suitable for your writing style. I'll have a link to this in the description box below so you can check it out. I'd also highly recommend getting a fountain pen. I mean, if you're watching this and you don't have a fountain pen, why are you even here? No, I'm just kidding. Everyone is welcome here. and. I just, I wanted to recommend getting a fountain pen if you don't already have one because I do believe it's incredibly beneficial in changing and relearning your pen grip. You can opt for something like I mentioned earlier, the Lamy Safari, or what I have here is the Lamy Lux with its pronounced triangular grip, 
or even something like the Pilot Kakuno, which has a smiley face on the nib and is a friendly reminder to always write with the nib facing up. I think it's also worth it to mention that a quick little arm and hand massage can go a long way. This is a tip that I recommend across the board, not just to those of us who are recovering death pen grippers. We ask so much of our limbs, so just remember to take a break every now and then and squeeze a little bit of gratitude back into your arms and hands with a quick little massage. I know that I've been talking to a very specific group of us, but if you're just wanting to change things up and learn a different pen grip, know that the change won't happen overnight, but actively working on relearning a more healthy and comfortable approach to holding your writing instrument will allow you to enjoy stationery for years to come. I would love to hear from you. Did you suffer from the death pen grip or were you pretty steady and comfortable with how you held your pen? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you Think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications that way you don't miss any of our videos. I do my best to upload here every Wednesday at 8 a.m pacific time so please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!